Hello friends, this video on Electrochemistry Part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So here we have to find lambda m0, that means molar conductivity at infinite dilution for CaCl2 and MgSO4. We'll use this table. So if you see lambda m0 for CaCl2 as per Kolderos law will be lambda e0 of C2 plus plus lambda m0 of Cl minus and it will be 2. Why? Because CaCl2 it will dissociate into Ca2 plus ion and 2 chlorine ions. So let's put the values here that becomes Ca2 plus 119 and 2 into chlorine Cl minus 76.3. What is the unit? Siemens centimeter square per mole. If you solve this, you get this becomes 152.6 plus 119, that is 271.6 Siemens centimeter square per mole. Correct. Let's do the same thing for MgSO4. So if you see MgSO4, it will break into Mg plus 2 plus ions plus SO4 2 minus ions. Correct. So if you want to find the lambda m0 of MgSO4, so as per Kolderos law, it will be nothing but lambda m0 of Mg2 plus plus lambda m0 of SO4 2 minus. So what is the value of Mg2 plus? This is 106. SO4 2 minus 160 and the unit is the same guy same in centimeter square per mole so if you solve this you get 266 Siemens centimeter square per mole pretty easy the next question is uh, the lambda m0 for NaCl, SCl and NaAc are given right we have to find the lambda m0 of HAc See, NaCl will break into Na plus plus Cl minus. HCl will break into H plus Cl minus. And NaAc will break into Na plus Ac minus, right? So if you want to find the lambda M0 of NaCl, it will be nothing but lambda not of Na plus plus lambda not of Cl minus. And that value is given 120. 6.4 unit is given that is s centimeter square per mole. Similarly, lambda net of HCl is given that is nothing but lambda m naught of H plus plus lambda m naught of Cl minus and that is given 425.9 Siemens centimeter square per mole. Similarly, this is given lambda net of Na. AC is given that is nothing but lambda naught of Na plus plus lambda naught of AC minus and that is given 91.0 Siemens per square volt. This is equation 1, this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. Now if you see, if you just see if we add these two equations, if you add these two equations, second and third, if we add these two equations and then subtract the first equation, what will happen is, we will get lambda n of H plus, Cl minus, Na plus, AC minus. And from this, we are subtracting Cl minus and Na plus. Correct? So these two will go off and these two will go off. So if you, what I am doing is, I am adding 2 and 3 and from that we subtract in the first equation right so what I'll get is the whole equation I'll be getting is lambda m0 of h plus plus lambda m0 of ac minus and that value I'll getting is this plus this right 
425 plus 91 minus 126.4. If you solve this, you get 390.5 and unit will be S cm square per mole. And this is what? This value is nothing but lambda m naught of H A C because H A C will break into H A plus A C minus. Correct? And that's what we are able to find the lambda naught. See, just three equations, it's quadratic equation, you have to just reframe this equation to make sure that you get the value of molar, molar conductivity of HAC at infinite dilution. The next question I have is the conductivity of some mole of acetic acid is given. Right? We have to calculate its dissociation constant, that means we have to calculate the alpha and k if lambda m naught is given correct see for to find the value of k uh, equilibrium constant i have to find alpha and alpha is what lambda m by lambda m naught correct this is an infinite dilution this is at any concentration so lambda m naught is given to us. This value is given to us. I have to find first my molar conductivity at this concentration. What is the conductivity is given? K is given and C is also given. So lambda is nothing but K by C. So I can easily find this value. Once I have the lambda m, I have a lambda m naught, I can find alpha. Once I have alpha, I can find K equilibrium constant, right? So this is for the acetic acid. The equation is I have CH3COH, it will become CH3CO minus and H plus. Right? I'm assuming C is my initial concentration, and after equilibrium is reached, this becomes C alpha and this becomes C alpha. So my K will be what? C alpha square by 1 minus alpha by C alpha into C alpha by C1 minus alpha. We, will, we have seen this so many times, so I just this because this is nothing but concentration of CS3 CO minus into concentration of H plus by concentration of COH. So I need to find first what as per my discussion I have to first find lambda m. So lambda m is what k by c. Lambda m naught is given in Siemens centimeter square per mole. So we'll try to find the lambda m also in this unit. So what is the value of k? K is given, conductivity is given, this, right, this is my K and this is my C. K is my K, that is 4.95 into 10 to the power minus 5 Siemens per centimeter. This is mole per liter, so this is 0 0.001028 moles per liter. Liter, I'll make it 0 0.01 centimeter cube right point 0.1 centimeter cube yeah sorry right one liter is point 0.1 centimeter so with this i'll get in the same unit so if you solve this you get 48.15 siemens centimeter square per that is the value of lambda m this is i have lambda m not is given right i can find alpha Alpha I have seen that by Colroche law is nothing but lambda m by lambda m naught. Lambda m we just found 48.155, this is sorry 15 Siemens centimeter square per mole. This is all my unit. Divide by this value 390.5 Siemens centimeter square per mole. These two units gets cancelled, and this value you get is point. 1, 2, 3, 3. Once I have alpha, I can easily find K. K is what? C alpha square by K is C alpha square by 1 minus alpha. Let's put all the values. C is what? C is given. That is in 0 0.001028. And C, please note, here will be in molarity moles per liter. 
it will not be in moles per centimeter cube or moles per meter cube and the alpha is 0.1233 square by 1 minus alpha that is 0.1233 so you solve the values you get 1.78 into 10 to the power minus 5 and unit will be obviously moles per liter why because this is unitless this is unitless so the unit of k level will be nothing but the unit of molarity uh, concentration in molarity this moles per liter the next question is the resistance of a conductive cell consists of 0 0.01 mkcl solution at 298 Kel kelvin is 150 ohms so this is my resistance this is my resistance this is my concentration this is my temperature what is the cell constant if the conductivity of the same concentration the concentration is same if you see at this is this so this is my conductivity conductivity is what k right the formula i know is r is rho l by this is the formula i know but rho is not given k is given i can say nothing but 1 by k l by correct so in this case let's see what all given resistance is given yes conductivity is given yes and uh, what is the cell constant this is a cell constant right so let me make it g star only so the formula i'm going to use is r is equal to 1 by k g star so the point i'm trying to say here is i don't remember all the formulas i just remember this formula r is equal to rho l by a and then based on whatever is given if my conductivity is given i'll make it 1 by k if my l by a is given i'll make it g star right so i don't remember all the formulas I just remember one formula r is equal to rho l by a this is the formula i'll be using now so correct i have to find what cell constant g star so my g star is nothing but r into k what is the value of r one five double zero ohms what is the value of k k is given this value 0 0.146 into 10 to the power minus 3 Siemens per centimeter. Siemens and ohms gets cancelled. You saw this, you get 0.219 per centimeter, and that is my cell constant. If you see, cell constant is L by A. So it's if you put length in meter centimeter, area in centimeter square, unit will come out to be 1 by centimeter, and that is the unit. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.